Hello, welcome to Pastor Spotter. I'm Pastor Rick Mannon. I'm so glad that you joined us today. We are continuing our study in the book of Revelation, and it's our desire to help you grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we do that by presenting the truth in love. Uh, we started chapter 14 uh, last week, and let me just read here for you the first five verses. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 140 and 4,000, which were redeemed or purchased from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they were without fault before the throne of God. And we had said that if we can learn from these people about how they lived in their time under persecution, we could follow their example and make application to our life and how we can live during our time. And last week we talked about the fact that they were purchased, uh, they were redeemed. The second thing is that they were protected. These verses here give us an incredible amount of hope and encouragement. God has brought the 144,000 all the way through the tribulation period. They didn't take the mark of the beast, God had protected them. There's 144,000 of them in Revelation chapter 7, and there's 144,000 in chapter 14. God has brought them triumphantly through the tribulation period just as he promised. I believe that knowing they were protected by God gives them power and strength. Those of us today who know the Lord are sealed as well. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13 says we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30 says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, in whom you were sealed unto the day of redemption. God is going to see us through all the way as well. And that should be a comforting truth to us, knowing that we are protected. It sets us free to serve God. Back during the initial construction of the Golden Gate Bridge, there were no safety, dev safety devices that were used. Twenty-three men fell to their death. For the final part of the project, though, they had a huge safety net constructed. Ten men fell, but they were all saved by that safety net. What was interesting was they found out that 25% more work was accomplished once the net was installed. Because when you are assured of your safety, you are set free to wholeheartedly serve the project. If you are worried about falling all the time, you're not going to work very diligently. In the same way, to be a productive Christian, we have to know that our future is secure. If you are going to do a great work for the Lord, you have to focus on the task at hand, rather than sitting around worrying all the time whether or not you are going to make it through. A lot of Christians live with fear and doubt that cripples them from reaching their full potential as a believer. God wants us to know that we have full assurance of a final victory. That sets us free and gives us the liberty to go out and serve the Lord. So I want you to be able to go out and serve the Lord wholeheartedly today, knowing that you have been sealed, you have been protected by God. Now last week for our 100th episode, we offered you a chance for a $25 gift certificate to Wisconsin's favorite Quick Trip. Nobody responded. Now, I don't think that's because nobody was watching, but come on, don't be shy. Go ahead. That offer is on the table. Again, first person to message me, email me at pastormannon at gmail.com will receive that $25 gift certificate. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for tuning in today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.